Finally, we have the summary reminder, and this is all important, brothers and sisters, in verse 32. These were the families of the sons of Noah according to their generations in their nations, and from these the nations were divided on the earth after the flood. Now what's being um, noted there, what our attention should be drawn to is this fact. We are all born, ultimately, of one stock. And regardless of whether we descend from the family line of Japheth or Ham or Shem, we are ultimately part of the same family. And ultimately, all of our stories, no matter how different they seem, no matter how different our backgrounds seem. I mean, I, I come from uh, you know, a, a different tribal background in one sense. I come from the UK. I, I don't have a, a natural affinity with, with Southern Americans. And yet, our destinies were intertwined by God. But more than just intertwined because my parents brought me over to the United States against my will and planted me in New Jersey. I did not get any say in it. It was entirely their decision. But they're intertwined because we're all of one stock. We're all descendants of Adam and Eve. And we all, all of us, inherited the original sin and fallen nature that the brothers carried with them in the ark. And that is why we fight so much and we are so hateful to one another. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you this. One of the blessings that I had as a young man and then occasionally as an older man was to travel throughout the world. I have been to the land occupied by the tribes descended from Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And I have to tell you, as I, I got off the plane, or in some cases got off the ship, it wasn't, I suddenly, I suddenly, there's a, this land is perfect. Here are the perfect sons of Noah who never fight and who are wonderful and who never lie, never steal. The, the effects of the fall stop at the boundary of their land.